So as temperatures drop, it's almost 7 p.m. It's cooler, everyone's got their jackets on, except for Forrest, of course, he's in t-shirt and shorts. But they're starting to kind of do the dinner process and really the dinner process, it's not so much a set menu, but they, you know, they kind of give you the, the choices that they have. And this is the cooking pot. I love it. This is the bri ah, onion. This is gonna be the biryani? Wow, that's gonna be a huge pot of biryani. So onions, rice, chicken. What else goes into the biryani? Yes, chicken biryani. Garlic. First in onion. Okay. Second garlic. Yes. Third tomato. Oh, okay. Chicken. Wow. And gravy. Yeah. That put inside. Oh, wow. Yep. Then boil it. Yeah. Put inside rice. How long do you boil? Maybe 13 minutes. 13, 14 minutes. Cool. That's awesome. I love that it's outdoor, the outdoor kitchen. And this big pot will feed sort of like all the people? Uh, 50 people. 50? Wow, 50 people. There's a, a group here from a pharmacy school out of Karachi. So I was talking with those guys. They're really great, super friendly. They've been in this pharmacy program in Karachi for five years and they have six months left. So they just did some big exam and now they are here just enjoying all the scenery for their last kind of six months push to graduate from their program. So it's been kind of fun uh, chatting with all of those guys. I'm sure they might make an appearance or two in the video a little later, but just to be here to talk with everybody, to see the food cooking is uh, really been a great adventure, totally worth the crazy long 10 hour car ride, the mountain roads, the Jeeps, the hike, here we are. Uh, and this is just, I couldn't have asked for a better environment for our family. The kids, there's other kids here, our kids are running around. And uh, yeah, it's pretty great. So maybe if it's not too dark, I can show you what's in the kitchen. I can go into the kitchen? Yes. Oh, okay, okay, thanks. So just kind of looking in the kitchen. Oh, wow, this is the garlic? Yes, this is garlic. Wow, this is you're gonna add that now? Yes. Okay, let's watch that. Thank you. So you had the garlic. How much? How many cloves of garlic was that? Yeah. Maybe two hundred gram. Two hundred. It's gram. gonna be nice. Yeah, that's awesome. So you can see all the garlic that was mashed up. He's got his tomatoes into the big pot. It's gonna go. Onion in brown side. Yes. Then put into a yeah, yeah. So you're cooking down the onions. Yeah. Let them brown up. <clears throat> the biryani just getting started. Such a big pot too. Yeah, I love the outdoor fire. I bet that wood smoke will add a flavor to it as well. You think? I think so. Yeah. Whoa. So what's going in there so far? Onion so far. Just brought the garlic Whoa. and the tomatoes. Rice. And chicken. Chicken, yeah, chicken. Yes. And then they said they boil it for like 15, uh, 13, 14 yeah. minutes. All right, in goes the garlic. It's, it's the part I'm most excited about, the garlic. Oh yeah, those onions browned up in no time. Only you could smell what we're smelling right now. The garlic hits the hot oil and those uh, fried onions. That's nice. Uh, what is your name, sir? Nice. Yeah. Marus. Marus. Yes. Jonathan, pleasure. Thank How you, long sir. have you been cooking here, Marus? Maybe six years. Six years. <laughs> nice. Where Where are you from in Pakistan? I'm from Astor. Astor. Where's that? This is backside. Oh, the backside. So yes. the, you're from the region. Yeah. Yeah. I see. I see. So I've been cooking here for six years. Yes. And this summertime. Summertime, yeah. Oh, the wheelbarrow. This That's so fun. Yeah. You want to go for a ride, Kelly? Uh, yes. We can have a race. <laughs> you can see. Cooking, cooking. And the tomatoes. He said this will serve 50 people. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's awesome. That is uh, that is some straight home cooking. Home cooking. Well, not home cooking, but homemade backcountry. Yes. Back See, country this is why we're gonna go backcountry <laughs> kitchen cooking out here finest. at the fire. All right, well, we'll let these guys get to work. Uh, as they start adding more ingredients, maybe they can pop back in and see the progression of the biryani. Yeah, and we've heard that 
Uh, biryani is the number one dish in Pakistan. Really? No, that's what the girls told me here. So. Okay, well, they're they're the number they're one pharmacy dish students. They'll know. Yeah. Cool. So it should be spectacular. Yeah. In go the green chilies. This is the spice, the heat. That's at least a dozen chilies. So the color is already getting so rich. Yeah, at least a dozen hot green chilies are growing. Is there is there a garden here? Are you getting this from the garden? No, no. It's brought in? Yes. Oh, I see, I see. How do you, uh, Yes. Next, the chicken. Let's see. Legs, thighs, breasts, I see. Maybe neck. Lots of different cuts of the chicken. Woo! That is going to be a mountain of biryani. Well, it's going to be great to see the final product. The green chilies really stand out in that pot against all the red contrast. Woo! Ah, it's getting so hot. I gotta pull. I gotta pull back. <laughs> so while the chicken's cooking, I just happened to notice over here, uh, Forrest has been recruited for some photos. Just these like sweet guys. Hello. <laughs> you guys say paratha. <laughs> <laughs> so always like a nice everyone's been so respectful they don't just like grab our kids or anything oh except there but they they generally say you know can we take a picture sure all that one of the coolest components of the camping experience here like we had no idea who was going to be here and we've met again we mentioned the the pharmacy students but also these guys so eslar yeah. is here and he you were telling me you started a trekking company yeah our company is trekking and camping company trekking take, and camping yeah we take tours from all over the world and especially we started from domestics oh that's great yeah. so you focus on domestic yeah. pakistani who want to have an adventure yeah. and you're telling me your company's seven months old yeah we brand started, new yeah we, yeah we started uh, recently yeah, seven almost seven months wow uh, yes wow our company name oh is, okay yeah is, let's see so this the, is the sign the heaven views gilgit baltistan tours beautiful beautiful yeah. this is a logo of our company yeah i love it and this yeah. is of course your, your whatsapp number yes facebook Instagram. email instagram yeah. yeah that's great it's how so how long did it take you to start the company like the, all the work yeah we almost uh, did uh, Two years we two did. years of preparation yeah, and yeah, now preparation now. I mean, now we started we take a, a big group uh, from Karachi University. Okay. Oh, are yeah. the are, is this the group you're with the students? Yes. Okay. Uh, All right. So you're the guide who brought the students yeah. from Karachi. These are the pharmacy students. So your group, yeah. your company brought yeah. them up. Yeah. Yeah. We we planned their their trip and yeah. we take them here. Well, I think they're, they, everyone I've talked to has said how beautiful it is and how much fun they're having. So you're doing a very good yeah. job with the, with the trip. We, we try our best and we always trying to, we always believe in good, good services and communication and we trying to manage everything. Okay. Yeah. Do you think you will, so right now you're focusing on domestic. Yeah. Do you think you will eventually look to branch out into international travelers like ourselves? Yeah. Oh, why not? We first, we are uh, trying to. Uh, complete these domestics and we trying to get some experience yeah, from absolutely. this yeah uh, how to uh, communicate with the clients sure. and how to make satisfy how to satisfy them absolutely uh, yeah we're just trying to look at our businesses yeah services well i think it's yeah. great what you're doing as an entrepreneur to yeah. to create a new business especially yeah. during these times yes. and the fact that uh travel is becoming much easier now it, it's great and you've got this big group here yeah. so congratulations this is our th th third group here third group yeah. in right. Fermi we this is our first okay and we take uh, groups in skardu hunza 
two or three groups wow. we already done. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, a very busy time for your new company. Yes, sir. Yeah, well, congratulations on, you, on your business. Thanks, and I bro. hope it grows and we have the contact information. I will share his information in the description. So if you're ever interested in kind of reaching out, this is the, this is the man. Thank you. Sir. All right. Thank my you. pleasure. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. So one of the ways we keep ourselves entertained, uh, you know, especially kind of these kind of times, but not quite dinner time, it's early evening. We have a little frisbee, if you will. It's made from cloth and it's something we've had for years. I think we might've got it from REI. It's just like a pocketdisc.com. Who knows if they're even still a company, but these are great. They weigh nothing and they're super easy to just pack pack and it yeah it weighs nothing so they're, they're, if they're still around uh, we, we're having a lot of fun a couple of boys joined us one of the girls from the pharmacy school joined us so it's a good uh, icebreaker little game just just toss the frisbee around and it, again it's just fabric so it won't break so just speaking of the pharmacy program uh, this is Musharraf and Musharraf you are Hi. so close to graduating yeah just six months away wow and you were in the it's the program in five years yes the five years program of doctor of pharmacy and based out of Karachi yes from Karachi University of Karachi that's amazing and how many students are going to graduate with you in, in six uh, months in our batch from if you collectively call the morning and evening batch it will be approximately 300 oh that's huge yeah. that's a, a very large program and and you're here now and these are kind of your your friends from the program yeah, these are all my university program please we are all we all are going to be pharmacists someday yes that's so, yeah, awesome we are wrapping up our program by a trip and, and so after the program will you be a pharmacist or is this just one step in the process no, no. after the program we all will be a pharmacist oh that's excellent yes. excellent and what are your plans do you plan to stay in karachi or do you think you will look elsewhere in pakistan or or international well, I, I do plan to go abroad oh do you yeah i do plan to go abroad over the research materials i have knack for researches i see i see so yeah do you have a destination in mind are you thinking europe or america or, or asia or i have thought about well it depends upon the thesis which I'm selecting and the facilities to promote I see, that thesis. I see. So there are the appropriate technology for that research. I see. Oh, that. that's great. And what is your, when you say research, do you have a particular interest? Yes, I have a particular interest. I have particularly interested in the field of uh, nuclear pharmacy. Oh, nuclear pharmacy. Yeah. And what, what, what involves, nu what's involved with the nuclear pharmacy? The nuclear pharmacy is basically the pharmacy involving the treatment, you can say, through nuclear radiation. So oh, wow. a huge leap. And also not only nuclear pharmacy, I am very much interested in the nanotechnology. I see. Oh, nano. Okay. Yeah. Wow. That's great. So these, because these, I believe, are the next generation, oh, or you certainly. can say the key steps to, for, to, 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 you can say, they can bring about the innovation. Right. The, right. Kind of the, the next theme, is where we're going the to go. Where treat Treatment will be no will be less side less toxic. Yes. And, uh, the main target area that I want to treat is the patients of cancer. Okay. Wow. I want I want devices or materials or medicines or treatment that can basically cure them, give them hope. Yes, of course. Of yes. course. Such a such a needed. <laughs> Exactly. avenue of exploration exactly. because basically we all are you can say we all are the patients of cancer nobody of knows when, when, yeah, know. when, when, when one's gonna die right but that the thing i see when they are diagnosed you get you i do i feel pity for them and i do, yes. i when you, you know i as if once i do i do also get sick these pretty kind of things you all it makes you feel devastated of course you don't like that you have the people are coming caring for you and all no i don't right. like these things so i want cure yes i want cure for people like those who have lost hope, hope. yes of course yeah. of course well the future is in your hands and i'm so excited i mean I such so. brilliant people uh in this campground i mean kelly and i have had so many wonderful conversations uh like we're having now just yeah. with uh, with all these people and i just to think that uh our, i think our future's in good hands is what i'll say you know we love your company yeah, we yeah. loved your company yeah, well, yeah, you know you. we have also heard things on social media about pakistan it's not a good place <laughs> these it's people like you who give us hope well, now that that's why, honestly, like we, you know, when we came uh, with the children, that's part of the reason why we wanted to come to bring, in, especially our, our that that next generation for us, is to experience Pakistan. That it's a beautiful country with wonderful people. I'm, I'm really, I really appreciate you. I really respect you for that because at, at one point we all started to think that maybe and abroad we have no respect. We are considered Not, terrorists. Yeah. We are considered bad guys and all those stuff. Right. Just because right. we grew up here. Well, it's uh, uh it's, it's guys to, to, to bring out the better sides, the best sides is. is uh, obviously what we will all focus on. Well, I appreciate your time and talking about your program so, and yourself. So and I will say, um, not inshallah. How do you say thank you? 
like if I said Shukriya. Shukriya. So Shukriya, thank you so much for your time, and I, I wish you all the best. And I look forward to hear there's going to be a bonfire tonight. Yeah, there's going to be. So a we'll bonfire. we'll check that out here. Uh, oh yeah, oh cultural <laughs> dance even better. So Good very life. cool. All right, we'll uh, turn back towards dinner here in just a little bit. So dinner's almost served, and while we were waiting, Riaz brought us a little taste of this local buttermilk. And it, so, so there are some, some people calling it lassi, some people calling it buttermilk. And it definitely has a, it does not taste like a sweet lassi at all, but they make it here locally. It's a, uh, from cow milk. It almost tastes like a liquid cheese is how I would describe it. Like a, what's that yogurt drink? Mm. You can't, you can't, mm. No, not, not at all like a yakut. 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 Here, see, do you want to give it a try? It's, it's hard to describe the flavor, really. It's it's like it's a flavor I'm familiar with, but I can't quite place it. Tastes like yogurt. Ah, oh, yeah. yeah. Like yogurt? Mm. So a local buttermilk. Mm. Mm. Pretty sour and nice. Sour, yeah. Sour, yeah. Tart. Tart, yeah. Tart. Yeah. I like what it. is that? It's a flavor. It's almost like a goat. Like a goat cheese. Goat cheese. That's what I yeah. yeah. Well, almost like a goat cheese yeah. But I, they did say it was made from oh. cow milk. What? what? You oh. How did you get juice? All right. So the wow. star dishes Thank you. of the night. Here. Let's move this. I don't even know. There we go. Yeah, I'll okay. do like, Wow. wow. That was the amazing. big biryani. So of course we saw the biryani Cooking. being cooked in multiple steps with the onion to the garlic, to all the spices, the chicken. Mm. We have, what did, what did you call this dish again? The dal? Dal mash. Dal mash. That's the word I keep forgetting. Dal mash. Uh, chapati. Salad, fresh salad. salad. Yeah, so cabbage, chicken carrot, kuma. tomato, yeah. chicken, kuma. That is with the gravy, the uh, rich, Flavor, buttermilk, buttermilk apple. Yes. I can't believe it. <laughs> wow, what a spread. I think we're going to eat like kings and queens. Yeah, we will. Uh, I, I'm excited to taste the biryani, so we're going to serve it up. I'll show you what that looks like, but uh, I think it's going to be very good based on what we saw them cooking on the fire. All right, going in for my first bite of that biryani. The colors are really pretty. All those spices. Later, we will make a fire after mm. dinner. You know, it's such a they interesting flavor. Music. Certainly to music. me, is there saffron music. in that, do you think, Al? You can I haven't tried it yet. Let me try it. Okay, it, to ah. me, it tastes like there's saffron in there as well. And... I think so. The spices are even. It's not like kicking in the pants spicy or anything like that. So it's just right, at least for, for my palate. Okay, no, they made piece. it special for your palate. Yeah, yeah. Me too. We got the chapati, of course. This is a, a lot of uh, dipping, pinching with the bread culture. Okay, like so that's a very okay. healthy bite. Mm. Yeah, just right. Let's see how uh, the kids are doing with the food. You want water? Uh, all your mouths are full. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Forrest, how's the chicken? Thumbs up. Chicken's good. Give me more juice. Oh, you're getting another juice. Well, eat your chicken, yeah? Chicken first. No. Forrest is a juice, a juice-aholic. All right, Greta, how, how's your take on the biryani and the food? I like all the spices and yeah. how it's spicy but not too spicy. Yeah. yeah. We found that to be pretty even here. Uh, you know, spicy but not too spicy. Yeah. Yeah. And Cedar? I'm still loving the doll. Yeah, the doll's delish. Yeah. Cool. Cedar, how's, so how, how's the biryani for you? You're, you're definitely getting busy on it. Mm -hmm. Tasty? Mm -hmm. What do you like about it? I did this in the rice. Oh, you're a fan of the chapati pinch? Scoop. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Good times? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we will knock out this meal. There's a bonfire going out there, so maybe we'll mosey on to that after dinner. Today is a day all about sort of exploring the Fairy Meadows area. So this is kind of where we're staying. This is the... Uh, Greenland Hotel. We're stepping off property and really we're on this one trail that goes all the way to base camp. Yeah. Now the base camp hike, I think it's like four hours from here. Uh, I don't, we're not going that far. I mean, this is just for us a, you can just tell how we're dressed. It's just a casual leisure hike. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see how far we get down the trail. 
Yeah. But it's beautiful. You can go for a walk in the woods. Yeah, I just want to highlight all the things you can do off property in the Fairy Meadows area. But yeah, the trees are beautiful. It looks shaded up ahead. There is a lake. There's a lake that we're going to check out. There's a little general store we're going to visit just to kind of get a feel for what is in this Fairy Meadows area, at least with all of the cottages. Yeah. So it's just a day of exploring and uh, taking it easy, I think, is our key. Yeah. I mean, again, just the, we the fact that it's. We base camp, but I think. I think four the kids hours are after. Yeah. yeah it's think. been a little bit of a whirlwind with a very little sleep of the last two days so today it's all about a leisure hike and taking it easy yep. but onward we go you guys ready yep. all right let's do this thing hey, oh, oh forest are you ready yeah all right let's do this thing here want to close it off Whoop. wow fairy metals is amazing completely gorgeous and what's so yeah. unique there's so many features to the landscape starting with this mountain range back here now that's, you can't see it so much on the gopro but it's beautiful from our eyes and that's the karakuro range and that's where k2 is you can't see k2 from here but it's different in, part but that definitely that's that the range with k2 yep awesome that's the one um and it's right before and then hunza is right right this whole all area. this valley all that so coming kind of up the valley if you yep. will and we have a glacier over here yeah and that's the raikut glacier so the raikut glacier is so cool to see you can really hear the river flowing underneath the ice but underneath all these stones that is the glacier like the whole gravel bed and everything that's on top of the glacier that's all ice like and right the, the big star of the show the big star of the show right here this is the nanga barbet mountain range right up here that big white one behind us and that's amazing second highest peak second highest peak or in range pakistan yes behind and k2 the ninth highest range in the world I think. over 8,000 meters yeah. we'll add the exact right here but yeah. that's very cool and it's only a four hour hike to base camp from here but right. I think it's a little yeah you know for us we're not gonna go all the way there but it's certainly an achievable goal right. uh, from the uh, ferry meadows kind of yeah. the, the cabin the cottage area <laughs> to get to base camp easy enough yep but uh, for us we just wanted to come out and really get an unobstructed view of the mountains and here we are yeah. So this is uh, again so a very beautiful. doable thing. I mean, Forrest and Cedar are wearing Forrest wearing Crocs. No socks. And you can see it's just this beautiful like pine forest, yeah. Douglas fir pine mix. Absolutely. It smells good. Yes. It smells gorgeous. <laughs> all right. So for us, we're probably gonna this will be our turnaround point. The trail obviously goes much further down, all the way down, uh, but just gorgeous. A great way to stretch your legs. Yes, cool. absolutely. All right, so opposite the hike that we just did where we went off the back of the property, if you go out this gate here, you get more into like the cottage area and you can see they are building like crazy. There's so many frames and new buildings that have popped up um, all over this hillside. So this is going to definitely be built into a very large tourist destination, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I like it host a lot more people. Absolutely. So in particular, we hear two things. We hear there's a store. Yes. We're going to go check out the store. And we hear there's a lake, and we've heard that name, Reflection, uh, Reflection Lake. So we'll see uh, We'll see what it's all about. Yeah. I, I imagine... Oh, go ahead, Granite. I bet it's called Reflection Lake because it has reflections. Yeah, it'd be great if you could see like the snow-capped mountains in the water. So this area, like the public house, I imagine these are all just different cottage businesses, I guess, is how I would describe it. So it's very pretty. It's all open, a bunch of little kids walking towards us. Kind of these local boys that kind of roam through the property. But we are going to try to find the store now. I will show you the inside of that here in just a minute. When you walk the property, Again, beyond just all that new construction everywhere, I mean everywhere, it's just building, building, building. You definitely come across horses, you come across donkeys, Baby cows. goats, cows, yeah. absolutely. But boy, the building is just uh, really incredible, the growth. Now, in terms of the shop, it's a little shed right there that says shop on it. So maybe it's this thing tuck shop there's at least a couple little shops here so we'll explore and see what's what what do you think Skater? i think it's cool yeah okay let's go into this one this one looks open which one this, this one. one 
So we're going to the tuck shop first. We'll see what they have. We'll compare it to the other one. The kids are hoping for uh, flaming Hot Cheetos, but we'll see. Hello. Hello. This your shop? Yeah, yeah. This yeah. the shop? Yeah. Okay. Uh, chips. 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 Oh, chips are finished. Are finished. Okay. Uh, I see noodles. I see juice, water. Okay. Is this a shop as well over here? This one? Yeah, yeah. Shop. Okay, we checked out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The chips. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Nice. Chips are finished in the shop. But we can go check. They had little things like noodles and cookies and all that. Oh, cookies. So let's just go check here. Okay, so that's that's the one shop. Here's a couple of roaming little cows. You can notice also tents. So all of these properties offer, it looks like a cabin stay and a tent stay. So you'll see speckled, there's some more tents here as an example. All right, a couple more shops, but all of them are closed. Uh, there's a guy who kind of waved us into his shop, so we'll go through the gate. Wow, look at the mountain view. He left it open. Okay. So great shot of the mountains. Here's an example again of these tents that people can rent out. But this really goes way back at the size of these houses. Or, or, or cottages, if you will, uh, are huge. I wonder, I bet you think they'll have like a helipad, you think they'll have a helipad here? It's flat enough in some of these areas. I bet, that, I bet they'll build a helipad. This will all turn into like a big tourist spot, but they are certainly preparing for it. And just... Yeah, I think maybe just an influx of tourism. Up yeah, here, yeah. Which would probably be nice. We've met people from Japan. We've met a lot of Pakistani Italy. tourism. Italy. Italy, a fellow Americans. So yeah. this area uh -oh. is looking okay. pretty good. There's another big tour group there. And we'll see into this guy's shop what he uh, what he's got. Oh, I see a few chips. Okay, so let's see what we got. Um, I see Lay's. I see candy. Ooh, candy. Oh, you see a candy? Mm -hmm. Lots of juices. So all the shops again. You got kind of the this is the storage. Yes. Do you have um, Cheetos? Cheetos. Cheetos. Yeah, Cheetos. Uh, chip, like a orange. Stick. No, I don't see. Uh, we did see Cheetos on the way in, so that's why we're asking about. Certainly Lay's. Lots of variety. Hold on, don't go Cheetos. Yeah, I chips. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 can I see? Yes. Okay. Oh, that's like a Cheeto. Oh, yes. Yeah, that looks like it. Yeah. Are you call these cook cookery? Yes. Kukure. Uh, cook okay, I got it. Yes. Kukure. Yeah. Hello. Lime, orange, salsa. Salsa flavor, I bet. Yeah. yeah. Should we get one? You yeah. want that one? Okay, we'll get one. one. Cedar, what pack do you want? No. A late classic Lay's? No, the, what's the red you one? You want the masala? Yeah, masala. Okay, masala. Hi. At least for me. Okay. Oh, um, wait, is there another masala? Masala? Yeah, no. Masala is finished, I think. Finished, that was one. the last masala. So we yeah. can share. What's the green one? Let's try it out. We have this one also. So classic. Yes. Oh. This is the same as what oh, this one is. Forrest, you want this one? You want these? Spicy? Yeah. No, no, not the no spicy. Like. Okay. Okay, so how much is it, sir, for... He has one candy. In oh, he got one candy. No problem, no problem. How much? Oh, you're very nice. Okay. See that? Uh, this gentleman is such a sweet man. So one, two, three, four. Oh, I'll get chips. Oh, one more, one more, one more. Okay. No, I don't want classic. Yeah, I want, I want... Well, they're all the same. I'll go. I'll get these as well. Okay, five. Two hundred eighty. Okay, so two hundred and eighty for the little chips, and then again, the man gave a, a little free candy. So a very sweet, sweet gentleman. Okay. Can I have the yums? Do you want to? Well, maybe we'll pay for those. Yes. Yeah, those are bigger. Yeah. What are they? Okay, we pay for those. That's too big. Yeah. Yeah. Want some yums? Do you want the same? Yes, one. Yums. Force, you have your candy. One, two. How much? How about three? Three. three. Yeah, because he'll want. Okay. Yeah, so I want to. I don't want to take all the the, the man's uh, candy. So he gave out the little free one. But okay, so we'll, we'll buy we'll buy the three. So how how much then? So the chips, the candy. Three hundred fifty. Okay, so three fifty for kind of our little bounty of chips and candy. All right, very good. So here's a look inside a shop. They're speckled all throughout the community here. And I'll pay the man and we'll continue our day. So as it gets a little later in the evening, it's just about five o'clock now, there are some lakes to check out, but you can kind of see 
everyone's just sort of lounging around in the grass in the field, enjoying Daddy, the view of the mountain. The baby run. Yeah, donkey's coming. Ah, baby, uh, but we do want to check out these lakes. So here's a little a little boardwalk. This little I don't know, would you call that a creek? Yeah. Go for it, Cedar. I'm trying to jump on the you can do it. Three, two, one, no fear. No fear I mean a little fear, but still. One, two, three. <laughs> Boom. Ah, no problem. Are you gonna try now? Go for it, Granite. Go for it, Granite. Take your feet up when you run. Whoosh. Yeah, no problem. So let's see, there's two lakes from what I understand. There's this little lake here, which is not really that's reflection lake. Oh you can't even call that a lake, can you? Like a pond. I don't know what it qualifies as a lake. Yeah, well not that. <laughs> but either way, so there's no really no swimming in that. Daddy. I was hoping we could put our Daddy. feet in the water or something. Daddy. Yeah, but there's a horse behind you. There's a horse behind it? Oh yeah, sure there is. Kind of a skinny horse, huh? It's just like eating cats. Eating the grass. Yeah. So this is one of these lakes. Oh, you see tadpoles here. Let's go check that out. Okay. All right, Forrest. Oh yeah, there they are. They're scared of your shadows, so be careful. Wow, a bunch of them. Wow, there's a lot of tadpoles. Look a lot at of little tadpoles in there. So it's a tadpole, it's a baby frog, you guys. So this is a spot, obviously, with the tadpoles that you could spend and let the kids be entertained. But I think there's a bigger lake kind of further down, so we'll see if we can't find that. All right, so really a beautiful place. This uh, kind of non-lake reflection lake is really turning into a pretty good time for the kids, yeah? Yeah, they're catching tadpoles and exploring the water, and so... We're just going to hang out for a bit, I think. We are. I, I went down the trail a little ways to the, the what they call the big lake. It, it, yeah, it's not much bigger than what this is. Uh, so maybe we'll mosey down and we'll check, check it, out. it out. But uh, if not, we will uh, sort of end the video here and sort of our leisure day here <laughs> in the Fairy Meadows. Had a nice hike in the morning. Yeah, played some uh, some cards and some games this afternoon, like yep. Frisbee and Falcle. Yep. And um, just relax. It's really yeah. the day we needed to kind of rest and recover from all the travel. There's just a lot of open space for running around, exploring, uh, letting the kids just kind of um, wander, meet other kids that are up here, and, and catch, tadpoles. catch tadpoles. So, all right. Well, with that, we will see you in the next episode.